Hello and welcome to this week's coffee vlog. It's now Friday the 21st of December. Uh, we're heading home. Uh, yes, we're at the petrol station already. What happened? <laughs> I set off from work. <laughs> My mind's been a bit fuzzy today, to be fair. Um, and uh, I was just heading on to Burdock Way and I was like, it's Friday. I'm supposed to be doing the vlog. <laughs> I don't, for some reason, it doesn't feel like a Friday. I don't know why. We've everyone breaking up for Christmas and everything. Um, so I'm going to do Mr Nellis's words here first and then we'll have a short vlog and I won't have to do much editing which would be nice. So Mr Nellis's words of wisdom, my things to talk about on your blog, the fire at Chester Zoo on Saturday. Yeah that was a real shame I think there's a, a lot of um, and well I don't know if they're big animals because I think it was an insect thing or something I'm not sure but yeah it's very sad when that happens. I like Chester Zoo, I've been quite a few times. Uh, my mum and my brother called Joe as they had a cold on Sunday. Yeah, I've had a bit of a funny nose this week, to be fair. Uh, me being Victor Muldrew as Moira Stewart is joining Classic FM to read the morning news on a weekday starting in February, which I think she will replace Bill Overton. And she was the newsreader for the Chris Evans Breakfast Show on BBC Radio 2, right? Oh, very good, there you are. Um, my mum and she went to Lightcliffe Academy for an educational meeting on Tuesday. Oh, very good. Uh, also, Richard, as he sang, I wish it could be Christmas every day by Wizard at the Feathers pub on Tuesday evening. <laughs> good one, Richard. A nice festive song. That's what you need. Jeremy Corbyn calling Theresa May a silly lady. Oh, fair enough. Uh, Hakuna Makata from Lion King accusing robbery of Disney. No, oh, really? Not it. I might have that up. We hope Bob Bell does a long-awaited Christmas vlog. I don't know, actually. I was looking at his Twitter today, actually, to see if he tweeted anything, and he hasn't <laughs> actually said... Well, not that I can talk, because I haven't done no tweeting, neither. Uh, so, I'm just as bad. Right, let's get going home. So, uh, yes, yeah, so we have closed Pennine Tea and Coffee, White Rose Coffee Roasters, Topa Roasters, .co.uk is closed for business. Um, I'm actually working though on Christmas Eve. Would you believe? Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> there was a gap. I saw the gap and I took the gap. But uh, apparently, because someone was pulling in to the petrol station, but the guy behind him was hanging round and swung round outside him uh, and put hell to lever down towards me. So I thought I'd better shift quick. It's like it's a BMW as well by their lights, so you know, the BMW drivers don't like hanging round. Uh, so yeah, so we're closed uh, now until second. Well I say that, but everyone else at work isn't going back till second. I mean Christmas Eve on me tot. Just me, Christmas Eve in work, rattling about. Um, I don't know if we'll have any orders to ship. Um, the carrier is coming about midday to fix the parcels up. If there's any, might not be any, who knows. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just go in and do that, that session in the morning, see what's happening. I've got some bits and pieces of tidying up and things I could get on with, so. Do we get the roaster a good clean to be honest as well? That would not do it any harm. Overdue doing that. Um, so, yes. Um, so, for me, tonight is not the big one week and a few days off. Uh, quite a few days actually, it's a Wednesday we go back. So, it's quite a long festive break this time. Um, also, what else? What else was I going to tell you? Exciting. I don't think there's anything exciting to tell you, really. Oh, I know what I was going to do on Monday as well. I uh, hopefully replaced my MacBook Air keyboard. <laughs> Cause, uh, I've been, uh, I've ended up having to use a, a wireless, um, wireless Apple keyboard instead. Because the keys, the just more keys, started to not work right. Um, he left his indicating a bit late, that one, but I don't know if he's struggling to work out where he's going, doing his home deliveries. Uh, so yeah, I've been kind of <laughs> using this Apple Bluetooth um, keyboard sat on top of the 
the actual MacBook Air one, Morning. which kind of works, but it, it's a bit of a fudge. Uh, uh, well, finally, I'll manage to uh, to get chance to dig in and actually do it because I know it's going to be a pain dissembling all the, the billions of little bits out of it and uh, all the little screws to get because you've got to take everything out. Um, the whole motherboard sits on top of where the keyboard is. So you've got to take all the motherboard out of the laptop to get the keyboard out and then put a new one in and then put everything back again. And, so uh, it's not going to be a, a bit of a pain in the backside job, but we'll, uh, we'll see how I get on. Uh, I've been avoiding it because I'm doing it at home. The only time I've been doing it at home is at night in the dark. We haven't got the world's greatest lighting at home anywhere. So I could just see it because when you're dealing with little tiny, tiny screws, you need to have as much lighting as possible to see what you're doing. Uh, so anyway, that's uh, possibly another Christmas uh, Christmas Eve job at work. So what else has been happening? So last weekend, uh, Friday night, did I, I did. It. Oh, I, I did a big stint. <laughs> I, I ended up running the Helpy. Um, Shilling Friday's show. Don't ask how that happened. I really don't understand that at all. Um, I was just chilling about through discords and whatever. Um, and um, Carrie Allen sort of popped up and mentioned it, and everyone that to let everyone know he was in that particular server that something's happening, uh, saying that, that Morning, they were in need of someone to run the Shilling Fridays. Um, and no one else was apparently sort of popping up. Offering, so I was like, "Oh God, what you know?" Not. I was just waiting until eleven o'clock until uh, her show, the the Playhouse, comes on anyway, so I could do that. So I was like, "Oh, well, you know, I'll I'll pop in and, and do fill in for that and be the host of the show." So I did, but the thing was, I, I set off and I did about three sentences, and then the proper host, Minna, who runs it all turned up um, and uh, yeah um, but then he, he sort of shilled his own po well not his own but other people's posts but he shared some posts uh, and then said right you carry on and do it because um, you know like I mean someone new and different dropping in and doing stuff so I thought oh, well fair enough I will do then so I did that uh, and that was pretty cool uh, then I was a bit late because <laughs> I kind of got stuck in there uh, and I, I didn't want to know what to leave, but everyone was like talking amongst themselves. It's, it's like, you know, it's like being at a party or something, and you're not wanting to like dip out. But Carrie Allen was away then shouting, We're uh, not here to come to the, the Playhouse show. I'm stuck in this LP one. Which it was all her fault I was there in the first place. I mean, can't moan that I was late for the Playhouse because that was. Uh, that was why I was there. So uh, I had to sort of make some excuses and dip out in the end. I missed about half an hour of the playhouse. Um, so that was a bit of a do. And uh, crank, I think it got me heating up a bit. It was cold this morning. Cranked the heating up and now I'm getting a bit overheated. Uh, let's just make sure that nothing bad happens here. Nothing bad happened. That was good. Um, so yes, yeah, so I got plans. And to be fair, I only lasted until like quarter to one in the morning for the playhouse because I just got so sleepy tired. I know actually I was really bad at it. I think I exhausted myself doing the the whole um, uh, helpy shilling Fridays thing for two hours. Two hours or more than two hours? I don't know. It was a long time. Might be two and a half hours. Uh, oh, pardon me, it was terrible. Um, yeah. So yeah, I was. Uh, I, I kind of did fluff some lines badly because I was getting tired, and at one point I forgot entirely again to press the tap to talk. So I started doing my speech, and I was waiting away, and then I could hear, "Coffee, coffee, it's your turn." And I was like, "Uh." Oh, I'm talking though. Ah, oh, but I'm not pressing the stupid button, am I? Uh, so, you know, it was a bit delayed. Um, so, yeah, generally that 
didn't go so well and like I said, I got to quarter one, I was like, right, I'm gonna bed actually, because I'm just ready to drop. Um, and I did, I didn't want to repeat of the other week where I did literally fall off my kitchen stool because I fell asleep <laughs> at like half two in the morning. And, uh, it's, uh, yeah, fortunately I'd woken up would you believe? Oh, we'll swing round here. Whoa! Extreme G Force. Right, and we passed the busy bus. Um, so, yeah, fell off my seat, would you believe? <laughs> um, I kind of woke up approaching the floor. Whoa, what's going on here? My arms out. Uh, and yeah, we're always yeah, just plumped on the floor. And, ah, this is not good. <laughs> Maybe time to go to bed again. Um, so, Yes. That was all good fun. Weekends. What did we do? Saturday. Did we do anything? Saturday. I can't. Oh, we, we had freezing rain. Freezing rain. It was completely balmy. I've never seen that before. The car just looked like it. It had got like a coating, like a wax coating. It was ice. Um, ended up. The eldest went out with one of our neighbours to do some shopping with her. He takes her out, she's quite elderly. Um, and he likes getting out and about, so they go out. Uh, and they'd gone out to do a bit of shopping Saturday afternoon, in the stupid freezing rain, of course. Um, and then they couldn't get back. Because basically, um, the, you know, it was, everywhere was icy, slippy, terrible. And they uh, they didn't want to be, you know, walking on pavements and stuff. Uh, and they tried to get a taxi, and there was no taxis available because everyone had booked them all up because it was terrible. Uh, so I had to come out and try and defrost the car, which took forever because the windscreen was frozen, and then all the windows were frozen as well. So I got the windscreen finally defrosted, and would you believe uh, what happened? Sets off, um, comes to a junction, and I need to see through the driver's window, uh, and it's still kind of like bottle glassy. Can't really see. So I thought, all right, well, tell you what, I'll uh, I'll wind the window down so I can see, because it'll probably scrape the ice off, won't it? Obviously. And did it scrape the ice off? Hey? Eh? Uh, no. What happened is the, the window went down, the ice remained, <laughs> just like a, an ice window. I was like, great. And then a gust of wind blew the ice window in my crotch, <laughs> basically all over my trousers and in the car. And, so I wasn't best happy about that little monarchal. Um, and uh, yeah, so that was up. And Sunday, we, I did my dad's tree. The boy decided, helpfully, he wasn't going to come with me on Sunday, which is a bit annoying, really, because I've been wanting him to do the tree, because that's something he can help with, uh, and he didn't want to come out. So, uh, there you are. Right, I'm off in. So, have a good weekend and week next week, and I'll catch you in next, week, next week's coffee vlog. I think the rear wiper's, like, wiping itself. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I can hear this rumbly noise behind me. I'm thinking, what the devil's that? Yeah, it's the weary wiper. Right, have a good weekend. Week next week. Catch you next week. Coffee vlog. Okay, see ya.